get a sense of quiet in these places. Quite decent architecture, I think. Shall we take a seat, George? We need to discuss what we've been assigned to do. Come on, then. Give me the briefing. To catch you up, I was told by the county police of a man named Randy who's been reported missing from the Southside Mental Hospice. Which weren't you there for some time? No, not that I remember. Listen, wasn't he a patient there? Right. Anyway, no. Who used to work there as one of the staff? He'd help look after the patients. So apparently he was 56 years old. His address has already been searched. No evidence as to why it hasn't been seen in eight days. Is it really eight days? Yep. He's been put at high risk, meaning that this case requires immediate action. We both have been asked by the police to work on this and communicate our findings to the hospice. Where do we start this case then? Right now, the work we have done. Hello? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Right, we're on it. Apparently there is a suspect who has been in contact with the man. We've been asked to question him. They've already found a suspect. Right, anyways. You will be able to ask the questions then? Yeah, alright. I need you to find out what happened to this Randy. Alright then. Unless you want to take a step back? Yeah, in case you need to intervene to say something. Detective George Herbal working the local police. Behind is my partner James Saunders also working the local police. You now tell me your name, age and occupation. My name is Thomas Stern. T-H-O-M-A-S-S. -S. That's two S's. You both seem on the kind of younger side. Oh, and I'm 48. And your occupation? Well, I used to work in a local garage looking after cars and all that jazz. And then I worked in advertising for a couple of years. And I'm not going to tell you two lads, never get into anything like that. It's complete... I'm not asking for your life story, all right? Just what you do now. This is what you want to hear. This is why I'm sitting here right now. Because yes, I did speak to this Randy guy. Oh, and I'm a plumber. A close friend of mine was put in that hospice with severe anxiety and paranoia. And this Randy guy was meant to be looking after them. He needed specialist help. But their condition never improved. And one time I went to visit them and they told me how they treated him. Do you know what these things are that Randy did? There's nothing much to it. It's just he cared about no one and he bullied some. So did you, or did you not kill him? I have never killed a man, and I never will. Yes, me and Randy did have a bit of an argument once, but that was all. Is there any possible place you could have gone, if you know nothing? I have absolutely no idea what happened to him, alright? Only once did he mention a place down here by the river. Now, please can you ask the police to let me go? Of course, just tell me the name of the area of the river. I don't 100% know, okay? Some place like Avis Bay, something like that. I think I have a rough idea of this place. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, I do. Now give me a couple of days. Only one job I gave you.
here somewhere. Three days of searching and nothing. I reckon we should widen the search for a few minutes. You go that way, I'll go this way. How did I put it? George, mate, I think this is it. Right, I'll take some pictures. You report the location. All right, yeah, good plan. Oh yes, here we are. Here we are. Okay. Hello. Yes, it's Saunders. We found the evidence. Yes. Yeah. yeah. George is just marking the area and taking photographs now. Okay. Yeah. Use the GPS on my phone to find our location. Wait. 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 Send a unit ASAP. the truth. I'm sorry James. Don't you dare intervene. <laughs>